Hi, Deborah Roth here at Spirited Musings, and I want to welcome you back to our exploration of the Lamas first harvest energy that, that I talked about last week, that we began to explore last week. Um, Lamas, as I said then, was an ancient harvest festival, really celebrated all over um, Northern Europe, and it's, it's, we don't really acknowledge it today, but it really is such a wonderful way to embody the energy, the fullness of summer, and for you to contemplate what, what projects, what uh, books, what pieces of business, what, uh, it doesn't have to be work-related, but something that you feel like you've been nurturing and, and uh, ready to midwife, ready to give birth to over the last couple uh, months. And, and I promise to share with you a very short, sweet little ritual that you can really tap into this energy, uh, this creative energy. Uh, the, the sun is in Leo all month, and you can tap into this creative energy, uh, which, which is so in sync with, with the energy of Lamas. And for your ritual, just prepare, maybe get a beautiful um, red candle for, for Leo, um, and, and have some corn. <laughs> get yourself a, a, a ear of corn and cook it, but save the husks. And, it, and that becomes, anytime you, you eat anything in sacred space, it becomes sort of an earth communion, much like the, the Catholics do and, and Protestants do when they have communion in their church. Anytime you imbibe sacred food, it really is, is as though you're embracing that energy in your body, Very, you're embodying the, whatever the energy is that you're working with. So in your sacred space, light your candle, put some uh, beautiful music on. If you are lucky enough to be able to be outside, go outside and that takes care of all of your activating all of your senses and doing all the things that, that really can create a beautiful sacred space. And bring your ear of corn with the husks and take off a couple kernels and then pause for a moment. One of the things that I asked you to do last week was to really reflect on what are some unique talents, gifts of yours that you want to bring to harvest, that you want to give birth to in, in this lush, full, uh, creative energy of summer uh, and, and really tapping into this first harvest. What do you want to harvest uh, that you've been working on the last several months? And, and then think about what it is that you need. What help do you need from uh, the universe, from friends, from coworkers, whatever it is, your family, but very specifically, and 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 identify what your needs are to help midwife, to help uh, harvest this vision, this project of yours, and may and take a couple kernels kernels of corn, and with each kernel of corn, imbue that with the need, roll it up in the husk. And the, uh, the husk of corn, and then place it somewhere, totally biodegradable, place it somewhere on Mother Earth as an offering to her, as an offering to the, the Earth Goddess, uh, the Earth Mother, to help you manifest, to help you harvest whatever this project is that you've been focused on. Have a little bit of corn to um, ground yourself, and you're all set. I was going to share a chant with you. I think because we're almost at four minutes, I will not, but I would just encourage you to, to contemplate, to come back to your heart and just do your little, uh, your own prayer of thanksgiving um, for the Earth Mother for receiving your request and for manifesting what you, what it, what it is that you want to harvest in conjunction with this great energy this month. Have fun with it and let me know what you do. Thanks.